Hey folks, John Bernakovich with All Points Design, allpointsdesign.ca, and today we're talking about the Oregon State University Permaculture Template. Specifically, we're taking a look at the plant design system. Now, as we're on the very first slide, we're trying to get an overview of the plant design system. Now, why are we doing this assignment? To slowly move you into a full site design, and we're starting the plant system design, because we want you to start to think about niches and water and soil fertility and how the plants interact with each other. All of that is really important. And so we want to give you a number of attempts before you move up to the full design. First, the plant system design, then zone one, then the full design. So in this first overview, we want to get a sense of the statement of purpose. What's this design supposed to do? Why is it there? What's the purpose of it? Next, we're going to take a look at a few goals. What's the big goals of this, this area, this site? What's the big idea? Then we want to know what are the patterns around this goal? So if goal one is to uh, reduce microclimate extremes, pattern might be to capture solar, um, solar radiation, to block wind, to shelter, there could be a number of major patterns and those strategies could be a windbreak or deciduous trees, the actual strategy itself or the elements. So if we take a look at the example on the right hand side, we're going to zoom in here. There's a couple of great examples. So as we take a look at the sweet cherry polyguild, there's a general base map without the design yet, giving us a sense of what are the patterns and where are those patterns generally? Where, where are the elements we're trying to create? Then within those, so things like the uh, cold season solar bowl or the windbreak, we want to block winter wind, capture solar heat to extend growing season while maintaining an adequate airflow and summer breezes, better water management. We want to reduce well water irrigation by 50%, use tolerant drought tolerant plants, uh, low maintenance lawn alternatives, ground cover mulch. Notice we're not saying what it is yet, just the, the general strategy. Capture overland flow, use things like boomerang swales, micro basins, uh, use potentially some rainwater capture. This is a bit more specific and then possibly solar pump. So this, this gets us even more into the specifics of the site. So when we then move to your site and we get a sense about what's going in what you have, the next step is to take your site and start to pull this out. So again, we're back on the iPad. Again, it's my, it's my favorite way of starting to play and, and design and understand my site. So what's my major goal for this area that we're focusing on, right? We've got this area here. What's my main goal for this area right here? What am I trying to do with this area? What's the conversation here? So the main goal or the main purpose of this site is we want this to be a main growing area. So we wanna grow good food. We wanna reduce uh, negative views. We want to add to the OASIS thesis of the clients and have a mini berry orchard in some way, shape or form. So that's, that's the purpose of this front yard. <clears throat> and the other thing I really like to do with design is I like to break things into rooms, little areas that I'm going to be designing. And in this section, we've, we've got basically uh, one, two, three, four, and five. Now, why did I choose the front? as my main room, because it is by far um, the one that's probably got the most amount of moving parts. It's what everyone will see. It'll be the lasting conversation on the site. So if this is our purpose to have our main growing area, to reduce negative views, to add to the Oasis thesis of the clients and have a mini berry orchard, then <clears throat> what are some of the patterns? Well, the patterns are we want to have a privacy screen privacy screen of some way, shape or form. We want to have fruit, some way, shape or form, berries, fruit. Uh, what other patterns are we going to use? We want some sort of water capture. 
because there's no water on this site, as we've talked about before. This is the only place for water on the entire site. And this is quite in the open. So we want to have some sort of water capture. What else do we want? Uh, what are the other patterns we're going to be using here? We're going to be using um, solar levels or using all of our heights, some patterns. And then as we move down into our strategies, strategies, what are some of the strategies we're going to use? Well, I think we're going to use a raspberry trellis, raspberry trellis. We're going to use our swale trails, which we talked about in the last video. We're going to use ground cover. Don't know if that's going to be mulch or potentially other plants. Uh, we're going to be using a variety of low bushes due to our uh, corner lot constraint. Um, and then we're going to be doing some soil remediation. And so that's the element of this first slide is we're trying to get those major goals with the existence of this. So what I could do is, is start to put out these strategies and these patterns around here and how the patterns would look. It's kind of like the reverse of your, your sector analysis is we have a goal here. We have a pattern here of um, screen view. We have a pattern here of growing mini orchard. We have another pattern here of in situ water collection. You know, all of those are the patterns that we'll want to see on the area because in that area, we want to see where they might live. So this first slide is really about where are those elements? Where are the goals, first and foremost? Where are the patterns, secondly? And then finally, what are the strategies? Strategies, strategies. Strategies that we're going to be working with. Hopefully that was useful, folks. Really looking forward to seeing your work. If you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the flip side.